Hi friends, I'm Deacon Susie, and today is a very special day in the church. It's Pentecost. It's celebrated all over the world 50 days after Easter. Penta means 50, and it's often called the birthday of the church. Some churches even bake birthday cakes. I know some of our parishioners have made birthday cakes that they're going to show on our Facebook page. People wear the color red because it's the color of fire, and fire symbolizes the Holy Spirit. At St. James the Less, we carry our dove in the procession, which is kind of like a, a fluttering, almost like a kite, and you can see that. So that's also another symbol of the Holy Spirit. We see it when Jesus is baptized, and God's light shines down, and there's the dove, and God tells Jesus that this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. So all of these are symbols of the Holy Spirit. But what happened that long day ago? Why is it such a special day? I wanted to read to you from our children's Bible and about this special day, and it's called the Holy Spirit. Jesus' disciples were celebrating a festival called Pentecost when suddenly a strong wind blew through the house. Everyone's hair lifted up and there was an amazing noise. They looked at each other. It looked like each disciple had a flame of fire touching him, but no one was burned. The Holy Spirit had come just as Jesus promised. The disciples began to speak in different languages, languages they'd never learned, stranger yet, they could understand each other. He reminded everyone, oh, Peter stood up. I want to tell you about Jesus. He reminded everyone what Jesus taught them. He told them how Jesus died and lives again. It's time for us to begin a new life with God's spirit guiding us, Peter said. The disciples were excited to live differently, guided by God's spirit. This was the very beginning of the Christian church. And that's the story of Pentecost. Some people ask, where is the Holy Spirit? Can I see it? No, you, but you can feel it, just like when the wind is blowing on a beautiful summer day. Just when you blow the candles out in a birthday cake, you can't see it, but you can feel it. So today is the birthday of the church, and I wanted to show you this special flame that looks, that's exactly how it was on the disciples' head. So go outside, enjoy the wind, enjoy the day, fly a kite if you can, do something special to celebrate this day in the life of the church. Amen.